So what we're going to be talking about today are schwannomas. Okay, so first of all, what is a schwannoma? Schwannoma is a tumor of a Schwann cell. So it is a tumor of a Schwann cell. Okay, so what are Schwann cells? Well, if we look at a a nerve, okay, I'm just going to draw a generic nerve here, and I'm just going to draw up an axon with an axon terminal there. And basically what we have on here is myelin. So, so Schwann cells make myelin. So I'm going to write that down here. Schwann cells make myelin. Make myelin in the PNS, in the peripheral nervous system. Okay, so my Schwann cells are going to make myelin in the peripheral nervous system. Now, if you recall, in the central nervous system, it was oligodendrocytes that made myelin. So in the peripheral nervous system, it's going to be Schwann cells. Myelin is basically, it speeds up myelin's Myelin speeds up nerve impulses. Okay, so myelin speeds up nerve impulses. So once again, if you recall, what happens when a nerve has myelin on it, the, the impulse basically skips over the nerves, um, or skips over the myelin to travel down the nerve, and, and the nodes of Ranvier is actually where you have the impulse. Okay, so here's what happens is in swan cells, what I'm going to do is I am going to take, let's imagine this, let's imagine that I want, I cut right through here. So the way you're looking at the nerve right now is like this, okay, and now we're going to imagine that I cut the nerve, I'm going to take this end, and now we're going to look at it as if we're looking at it right like this. So this would still be the nerve, okay? This is, my, this is the nerve right here. And then what would happen is I have myelin that surrounds the nerve. I'm sorry, Schwann cells, well, myelin and Schwann cells that surround the nerve. Okay, so it looks like this. And then I'm going to have... A nucleus that's in there. So basically what the Schwann cell does is it makes myelin that surrounds the nerve. <clears throat> so here's the problem that's going to happen in a schwannoma is let's say that I have now I start to have the Schwann cell becomes a tumor and it's going to start growing into this area where the nerve is. It, does, it doesn't get rid of the nerve like I drew here I'm just trying to show how it's in that area. I'm going to draw this a little bit bigger. So once again, this would be my nerve. Here's my Schwann cell around the nerve. And it's making myelin. Okay. And now if I get a tumor, what's going to happen is it's going to grow into this area and put pressure on the nerve. And now the nerve can no longer function. And that's what happens in a schwannoma. So they can remove these. So let's say it was right here. Right, I have my schwannoma right in here. And now this area has grown as the cell has grown. And what they'll do is they can actually cut this open and then just pull out the schwannoma itself. So what are the symptoms of a schwannoma? It basically depends on what nerve that it's going to affect. So let's say that my schwannoma, it affects the cranial nerve number eight. Okay, the cranial nerve number eight is um, is the acoustic nerve, 
a vestibular auditory nerve. And what's going to happen is it's going to affect your hearing, if it affects this. So this is, this is the nerve for hearing, the cranial nerve for hearing. Okay, like I said, it's going to the acoustic nerve or the vestibular cochlear nerve. So if it's going to affect this, what do you think the results would be? Well, there's going to be a loss of hearing. And so on some other people, what will happen is they will actually get something called tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears. Okay? And then sometimes what people will have too is they will have um, just a fullness in the ear because you have a tumor going on, so they'll have a fullness in the ear. Okay? So those are some of the symptoms if it were to affect cranial nerve number eight. By the way, if it affects cranial nerve number eight, it's called acoustic neuroma. Okay, so if it affects cranial nerve number eight, it's, it's called acoustic neuroma. So not only that it can affect um, cranial nerve number eight, this can affect other areas of the body too. Let's say it affects cranial nerve number seven. <clears throat> cranial nerve number seven is the facial nerve. That's the facial nerve. <clears throat> so what can happen here is you could actually get facial paralysis. The facial nerve, cranial nerve number seven, also does taste to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, so you may have a decrease in taste decrease in taste sensation. And you can actually get these on your tongue, right? There'll also be growths that are on your tongue. Um, so that's another problem that could happen. The good thing about these is that they're usually not malignant. And they can usually be removed by surgery. Now, I just gave two examples of where, you can, where these can happen and you can have problems. You gotta realize it can affect any, any peripheral nerves. So you can get these in the arms, you can get them in the legs, you can get them um, in the eyes and cause vision problems and things such as that. So for the most part, that's schwannomas. And thanks for watching. So this is a schwannoma on the tongue. Okay, and here you can see the schwannoma that's inside the nerve, and then you can see what it looks like once it's been taken out. And those are schwannomas.